Hello everybody, this is Lunaris Elrod and for the next anime I'm gonna talk about Iro Irozuku Sekai no Ashitakara and I'm going to be honest that I'm a little conflicted about this anime it's not that I didn't enjoy it I enjoyed it quite a fair bit I think it's a solid anime and I kinda dislike it that I have to rate this pretty highly that because this anime is something like of a, what I call a summer romance anime even though it, uh, in this story particularly the, the more central plot is about a coming of age story for the main character Hitomi but uh, the, how, the, how the basic uh, story is structured it can easily be a more romance heavy more drama rom drama romance heavy and focuses on the focus on relationship between characters instead but this anime takes a slightly different approach of focusing more on this being a coming of age story about the main character and how she slowly matures into a by experiencing a new and magical experience literally because in this uh this is kind of like a supernatural anime because it has a magical element to it the main character is from the future and is transported back to the past by her grandmother and then her experience uh, in the past mat uh, matures her transforms her from a very introverted and silent and unconfident person into someone more willing to accept others more willing to more willing to embrace others and improve herself and she in the, at the end she became from someone who she became someone who acknowledges her weakness and is willing to improve herself by letting more people into her life and getting herself involved with getting herself involved with more people as in she, uh, she by the end of the anime she realizes that she is doing herself and no one else a favor by being so solitary something like that during the, her experience in the past also i'm kind of i should have I said a uh, spoiler alert or something because for some reason i started i started by going through the ending instead okay anyways uh why I'm conflicted about this anime is that I enjoyed it, but I mentioned this to a, 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 I I said this to a bunch of people, and where I said that it's kind of sad that I have to rate this uh pretty good because in an ideal world to me, this anime would be just average or just slightly above average. As in, I watch it, I kind of enjoy it, and I finish it, but it's nothing special. But when I watch this, it's actually, it feels pretty good to me. I like the focus on the maturing of the characters instead of the focus on the romance or the drama. And I like that it, it didn't go to a more angsty and more edgy romance drama route, route that I often plague anime of this genre. And this is what I want to talk about. Most other anime that is uh, that is uh, similarly to this to the, to Irozuku, it usually focuses more on on trying to be dramatic and angsty, and maybe it's just my personal bias, not personal bias, but my personal preference. But lots of time, the, uh, I find edgy and angsty story not compelling. It's not that I hate edgy, hate edgy or angst. Some of my favorite anime has lots of angst, like Kuzu no Honkai. I, I enjoy Kuzu no Honkai. It's very, very angsty. Everyone is super dramatic, super melodramatic, and I enjoy it. So it's not about me not liking angst, but rather I think that most, uh, some, most of this summer romance anime is that they didn't write angst or conflict or drama in a way that I think is good. So Irozuku, what put Irozuku different than other similar genre, anime of the same genre, is that Irozuku 
focuses more on uh, more on the development of the characters and the character relationship and and very surprisingly <laughs> I say surprisingly because most of the characters in this anime is very realistically mature unlike unlike other anime of this of this genre they usually for some reason they try to manufacture drama you know or rather the writers make them manufacture drama needlessly to the point that when you as a viewer watch it you will just like roll your eyes and say ah why do you have to do this you just make things make things more difficult trying to produce emotion that feels fake to me i did i don't i never really like that i never really like that kind of things but i, I i'm i'm i gonna have to state again that i did i do not not enjoy angst one of my favorite anime in the past is uh, anohana anohana is very very angsty very very sad very dramatic and emotional but i really enjoyed it i cried at the final episode uh, as in there is a way to write angst and melodrama that makes me enjoy it but it, it, that is just not typical you know that's that is why i rated irazuko uh pretty highly for for this kind of genre is because that specifically because the writer did not try to fake did not try to manufacture this kind of very annoying angst because if uh let me i can see that using the using the similar premise in in irozuku the main character the main character hitomi went back to the past and then she hang out with these five other people five no six other people and then they have your typical summer romance you know summer romance uh set up you know they have uh, a little bit of love triangle and this character like this this character is jealous of of this character and then as, as some uh, misunderstanding and some the main characters discover that she has feeling for him and then she is trying to sort her feeling you know typical teenager love stuff but where most writers of most writers uh, will try to make this into something very emotion very angst, angsty and dramatic but Irozoku's writer did not did not do that maybe partly because this is an original series it's not based on manga so they ha they can afford to not make drama every episode you know i think that is also part why i hated i hate this kind of i find this kind of genre usually annoying because most of them come from manga or something similar and for, for, for when you write manga you have to make every chapter something happen in every chapter you know i think that so that's why there is so many dra and needless needless drama in this kind of uh, genre, if especially from uh, if we adapt it from manga, but Irozuku Irozuku did not do that. So what is good about Irozuku is I, what I mentioned that is the slow and gradual character development of the main character Hitomi and how she interacts with the rest of the character, especially her relationship with the her grandmother in the past. You know, the, the, her grandmother is the one who actually transported her to the past, but then she meets the, uh, the younger version of her grandmother. And it's also, I also very en enjoy a lot how the young, how, how the young grandmother, Kohaku is her name, is how Kohaku feels very responsible for Hitomi and how her character changes, how her character feels responsible and we, uh, become very de de determined to fix things to send back Hit Hitomi to the future and then how uh, both of them interact with the rest of the club members as I said I said I said, previ I said previously the, re the re interactions are very mature and I, I like it I like I, I like mature interaction. I I watch enough angsty drama from other anime. I don't I need something different from time to time, and Irozuko provided that. But that's a, that's some good stuff. But I have to admit there are some weakness in this anime. Particularly, I think the dialogues are are not so well written. I think the dialogues in overall could be 
could be refined further makes the uh, dialogues more natural i just i just find that some in in various scenes the dialogues does not feel natural the heart, maybe maybe the voice actors didn't deliver de deliver or presented it well but that's one thing and then sometimes the sometimes the art the character art does not feel consistent or sometimes it feels like low resolution the character art to specifically not the background art the background is very gorgeous it is based on it's not i know that it, it's not uh, drawn rather it, uh, the, some people photograph and then filter it through blur and edit it some yada yada it is based on i google it it, it is based on a city in nagasaki in Nagasaki and I love I love the ge uh, geography of the setting it has a it is a, in a town or city ta city where there is a lot of elevation and lots of hill area you know so there is lots of scene where the characters are in different elevation and it provides and the camera angle pro camera angle provides a very uh, amazing amazing scenes uh, am amazing and amusing looking scenes that does not happen in in normal anime where usually everyone is in, is in a in a flat in a flat ground in a boring city you know this this Nagasaki city setting is really cool I hope more more studio do it like if you if you if you ask me if if more studio should just use real places instead of instead of uh, uh, designing themselves if, if you cannot design a good city or invest resources in draw, drawing a detailed background yes i think you should definitely just use a real real place because usually they have more details and things looks more natural and more natural and what's the word yeah more natural <laughs> so anyways the conclusion irozu kuseka is a is a solid anime if you are looking for some coming of age story that has some romance and character relationship romance drama elements you should watch it it's a great story it's a it's, it's a, a solid story storytelling is solid the art is decent but i have i am i'm gonna to reiterate that it's a little sad that i have to rate this highly because because in in in, in an ideal world others other anime of this genre should have similar of this quality or at least close enough of quality of the irozuku sekai anyways goodbye